Void friends and Void folk, it's Marlena Marie and welcome back to video two of this series of my self-publishing journey. Today I am going to go over uh, my blog. So my, my first set of decisions when going to self-publish was looking at my online website, themarlenamarie.com, and deciding to delete a lot off of it. I've had that website since about five years now and I have done a lot of blogging in terms of book reviews and having my own web novel series off of there so I decided to do two things. One I deleted, well first I privated and then I deleted all of my book reviews off of my website and I also deleted and pri or privated my stuff for my web novels. In the terms of the web novel decision, I actually kind of erased all traces of it off of my website, uh, fixing things to make them look nice, making sure that there was no real trace, kind of privating and making pages completely disappear. I did this because I'm going to have a pen name in the future, which will be in another video, that will have all of my web novels online and I will be boosting that specific website, so in order to keep the pen names consistent I needed to get it off of my website. In terms of my book reviews, this was um this was one that was a little bit complicated because I've heard differing things. For in some cases people say authors need to stay out of readers' spaces and in some other cases authors are readers so they should be allowed to put out the reviews. Now my reviews have never been particularly eloquent. They've always been like, this is what happens, this is the characters, this is what I like, this is what I didn't like, this is what I rate the book, right? So they were always very succinct, but I decided to take all of them off my website just not to have to deal with it because I don't want to hurt any per, well, possible relationships with authors that I would have, although I usually rate most of the books that I read like a four or five stars, so it wasn't that bad. But I decided to take all of them off my website. I do recognize that if someone wanted to read them, they could go to an archive form and like see them. But this is just a way to like put that stop up that I've decided that I'm not doing book reviews anymore. I'm still gonna do author interviews on my website, uh, talking with the independent artists, but I'm not gonna do reviews. I am still gonna read books, but I'm not gonna do reviews and I'm not gonna post them, which will also help me as a reader be able to continue going forward. It's kind of sad because my entire blog was based off of book reviews and me making book reviews so that I could make and reach an audience, you as an audience, but I've decided that that no longer serves me, so they are all going away. Uh, I do still have my Goodreads with my like rating on books, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing because I'm not really putting my thoughts, I'm just putting like five or four or whatever stars. If it's three or less, I usually don't start it anyway. And I also have my story graph where I do the same, but I figure not having the actual written word is probably going to be from the best for me. So I got rid of them and it was a long and tedious process because I have five years worth of book reviews and web novel postings that I had to get rid of and it was actually kind of a, a little bit like it hit my heart a little bit. I wasn't expecting to have the sort of emotional reaction to deleting all of this as I did. To be fair, I don't like deleting stuff as it is, but deleting these were, it was it was pretty bad, but you know, it happened. I thought it was important. And this was the first thing that I did for the self-publishing journey was to basically wipe the slate clean. Wiping the slate clean and then moving on from there. This took me something like a week to do like it was a couple of hours of like just deleting the web novel because I already had that in a second location but for all my book reviews I had to copy paste it onto a, an archive and delete and then private or do all of that and that just took forever so by the time that this comes up everything is basically gone uh, and I still have to go through and I need to like delete my review archives. I'm going to keep up the books I've read, but I'm not going to have my review archives because they're not important anymore. So that's still something that I have to do. And that's on my list. But this video is short. I hope that you enjoyed it. This is basically one of the many steps and hopefully most of them coming forward will be this short, if not a little bit longer. 
but I don't intend for this series to be particularly long because I just want to show exactly what I'm doing in this one. I know most people did not have to do it, and in my self-publishing journey, this is not necessarily one that a lot of people have. But my later videos will be a little bit longer because I will be going more in detail on this. If you, I will probably have a longer video about my website later on when I'm building the one for the self-publishing because I'll just tie them both in together as well as pen names and stuff like that. But in terms of this one, book reviews are now gone off my website. My web novels are now gone off my website. Anything that's on there is just stuff that is tied to the pen name Marlena Marie as opposed to the other pen names that will be coming in the future or book reviews that I just don't want to have that level of breach of con like breach of social contract because um, that, that social contract is really important between readers and authors and I want to make sure that I am divided from that space and I'm not going somewhere that I don't really want to be anymore. So I will talk to you guys all later. I hope that you have a wonderful day. This video is not very long and see you in the next one. Until then, this has been Marlena Marie.